Being stranded in the outback is very dangerous. Because it's not industrialized and very sparsely populated, this large region of Australia is one of the biggest natural areas in the world. The outback is also considered a deadly place to be stranded. Every year, hikers and tourists get lost. They face great danger from the extreme temperatures and sun exposure in the desert regions. You could die of dehydration, have a heart attack, or any number of problems when your body's under stress. You need to bring the right supplies with you and to prepare properly before coming to the outback. So, what could you do to survive? Well, here's how to survive in the outback, according to science. First, leave your itinerary with someone. Before you leave on any dangerous trip, tell people when you're leaving, when you plan to be back, and tell them your travel route. That way, people will know to look for you if you're not back in time, and they'll know where to look as well. Second, stay hydrated. Bring plenty of water with you to the outback as parts of it are very hot and harsh desert environments. If you run out of water, look for rock formations as water tends to collect in those areas. If you have plastic bags, put them over tree branches to collect rain. Hopefully, you know which trees are poisonous and which are safe as Australia contains both. Look for animal tracks because if you see many different paw prints going in the same direction, they will lead to a water source. Try to find a creek. Even a dry one will have water if you dig underneath the mud. Third, find shelter. Stay under shade during the day, whether it's under a cliff, a tree, or a boulder. You may find company as kangaroos and dingoes also rest in the shade during the day. Don't expend your energy during the hottest times of the day. It's better to rest and wait to be rescued. In fact, rescuers will specifically search for natural shelters along your route to find you. It's better to stay in one place. After all, the outback is huge, several thousands of kilometers from east to west and north to south. Fourth, cover up. While many tourists assume that spiders and snakes are the biggest dangers in the outback, the reality is that the harsh sun is the true danger. Australians joke about the sunburned tourists that don't respect the dangers of the outback sun. Staying safe from the heat and the blazing sun should be one of your top priorities. Cover your head and body with light, loose-fitting clothing to stay cool and retain water. Fifth, prepare for the worst. Nobody visits the outback assuming they'll get stranded, but to be safe, make sure that you think carefully about your trip and make detailed plans to take care of your body's needs if you do get stuck there. The usual amenities and safety nets that keep us comfortable are absent in the outback. There aren't many stores, people, air conditioning, or hospitals in the Australian wilderness, so bring supplies. Take enough water, clothing, food, and first aid supplies with you to last longer than your planned trip. The Australian outback has always been a dangerous place to explore, but if you remember the safety tips in this video, you have a good chance of surviving the outback, according to science.